Yo, welcome guys to week one of the MPL Miners. This week we face off against Mio of the Oklahoma City Thunderous. And I'm really hoping to make an impression in week one. You know, last season we lost our three first starting weeks, so I'm really trying to make an impression this week. So I'll quickly go over the team I built. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to keep team builders a little bit shorter than last season. Uh, partly because I have actually have the sets so you can see them this time so I won't need to explain quite as much and also because the videos were very long last season and I don't I don't think anyone wants to see a video that long and I think I can get across the points of trying to get across a little bit faster than I could than I ended up doing in that season anyway my po my team as you saw in the draft analysis is Megalodios, Zumro, Lucario, Crook Tangro, Tharm, uh, Thunderous T, which is my Z user, Sneasel, Golbat, and Metagross, while my opponent's team is Zygarde 50%, Tapu Koko, Torn T, Volcarona, which is his Z user, Ferrothorn, Starmie, Aromatisse, Drapion, Seismitoad, Bronzor, and Mega Aerotactyl. So my opponent's team is very offensive, very fast, a ton of mons which don't take hits well but dish out a lot of damage. Uh, like Tapu Koko, Torrenty, Volcarona, Mega Arrow, Mons like that, Starmie. So I, it's gonna be hard to harder to switch into threats. So it's gonna be I can't really bring a bulky offense team like uh, the team I drafted generally is against Mio. I'll have to bring like a couple walls and mostly just some win cons I can set up in the late game, set up on the speed. Set up with their speed or use priority to win the game. So one of these win cons you can see on my screen right here. It's Belly Drum Azumarill. Um, this set's really nice versus him. If I get to plus six, I just win on the spot unless he has water absorb fast offensive seismitoad. Um so you'll see whether or not he brought that, but that's his only answer to this. And it's uh, really nice. <laughs> because a lot of his mons uh, can you know, deal a lot of damage to this, but they can't deal quite 75% because I have a ton of HP investment in a little bit defense. Like, I can just set up on pretty much any Zygarde variant. I can set up on most Torn T variants. I don't think I'll have Sludge Wave this match, but he very well could. Um, I can set up on a Romatisse. I can set up on a more defensive Drapion. I can set up on a Seismitoad uh, if he's. If I see that he's not water absorb or offensive or something like that, I can set up on Mega Aerodactyl. That's really nice for me. Uh, moving on, well, I think this mod just pretty much is self explanatory. You know, you just belly drum and then Aqua Jet kills pretty much everything, and the things it doesn't kill, you can I outspeed and play rough or superpower. Um, this does a good job of fading Ferrothorn, because he has to switch to Ferro Ferrothorn if he's fearing a banded set. Or if the Mon he's in on would die to Aqua Jet, and if I set up a BD, then it's really hard for him to deal with, unless he brings that offensive Seismitoad, as I mentioned earlier. That did come a couple times in Mox, so not a bad Mon to bring. Um, next Mon, uh, Tangrowth. This Mon deals with a lot of his team really well. It deals with the Zygarde 50% perfectly. I know some people brought some counter sets. They, some people brought Thousand Waves, Sludge Wave. Some people brought Thousand Waves Toxic. None of them were able to beat this Tangrowth because I have the HP Ice, which is able to do a decent chunk to the Zygarde. It breaks subs easily. I think someone brought Thousand Waves Sub Toxic in one of my mocks, and I was still able to 1v1 it, which is pretty insane. So I can still, you know, either HP Ice it if it tries to set up or regenerate out the damage uh, by switching out. So this one's a really solid answer to that. It's all, it also answers a lot of the rest of this team really well too. I can take any one hit from Volcarona and kill it with Rock Slide. Um, I don't uh, counter Pharaoh per se, but it can't do anything to me even though I can't really do much to it. That's kind of a standstill there. Uh, I take hits from Starmie extremely well. Uh, even Psyshock, which is on the physical side, I'll be able to take extremely well because Tangrowth has very good natural physical bulk. I take any hit from Aromatisse very well. I take hits from Drapion okay. Poison Jab still does a lot, but I can just switch out. Uh, I take hits. I pretty much counter Seismitoad with this, even though rocks are annoying. 
And I believe I take one hit from Mega Arrow, though I'm not sure on that. I probably died a wing attack, actually. I haven't calculated that. But I don't really plan on taking that much damage with this tank earth, because I'll need it for the late game. Just being able to take, you know, any pretty much any one hit from his the entirety of his team. Uh, Top of Coco can go for Brave Birds on this, however, that doesn't kill it. And I can scout for Brave Bird too by switching to my more specially defensive Metagross, which I'll get into later. My third mod that I put on this team is a defensive Megalodios. This I put it this I put on the team basically just so Ferrothorn can't put in work against my team. Because I know it counters a couple of the mods I brought, like it counters my Metagross, counters my Tangrowth, and uh, I can check my Thundee if you know he lands his Leech Seed and he doesn't let me set up too far. So I brought this Megalodios. I can defog any hazards he wants to go for. I don't really care about a T-Wave. I guess I care a little bit about a Toxic, but I took a him with HP Fire regardless. And Psyshock is just good coverage for the rest of his team. I understand I can't hit Drapion super. I can't, I can't hit Drapion at all with this coverage, but I decided that's a risk I was willing to take since I didn't see Drapion at all in my box, and it just doesn't really do anything versus my wing cons, which are Thunderous, Darmanitan, and Azumarill. Because Darmanitan okos it with Flare Bliss, Thunderous does a ton with Thunderbolt if he's not Assault Vest, and Azumarill kills him with plus six Aqua Jet. So this is uh, Megalodius. Again, this mon's pretty much able to tank two hits from the majority of his team. If he has Zygarde in, um, he can either go... Well, Zygarde doesn't get Dragon Claw, so if he wants to go for like a Bandit, Bandit Outrage and kill me, I can just go into a Zoom roll and set up. So this effectively checks Zygarde. So that's nice too. Uh, next mon, I have a more specially defensive Metagross with Akaberry. Akaberry is useful versus a couple mons on his team. It's useful for the uh, Torn because if he wants to go for a Heat Wave to deal a lot, a lot of damage to me, I am able to take that very well and hit it with a Rock Tomb or an Ice Punch. Uh, the main reason I have Akka is from Full Corona's Fire Blast, uh, so I can live that Fire Blast from it. Or if it tries to set up on me, I can Rock Tomb it, outspeed it on the next turn, and Rock Tomb it again to kill it. I believe Rock Tomb actually. Oko's it, but I'm not sure on that. Anyway, uh, that's the Metagross set. Um, again, just these specially defensive mons like Tangrowth and Metagross are really nice versus his team. So a, lot, a lot of his team is special, like Tapu Koko usually is special. <coughs> I feel special does better against my team than physical this week, because physical is pulled by, by Megalodios. So I believe he has to bring special, probably some sort of life or respect set, if he decides to bring that top of Coco. And you know, this is just a good torn switch in as well, as well as being able to take any uh, one hit from Me from Mega Aerodactyl, and doing a ton to that with Ice Punch as well. And Toxic is good versus team in general, but the mo main reason I have this one on my team is for Stealth Rocks. Being able to take not too much from any mon on his team and setting up Stealth Rocks is really important versus him because he has the Volcarona, he has the Tapu Koko, Torrenty, mons that I want to keep pretty low. Especially Starmie because uh, Megalodius doesn't have a good move to hit Starmie, so being able to have that take rocks every time is really important uh, for being able to weaken it for the late game so Darm can kill it with Flare Blitz. Uh, then we have a the EVs on this mon are a pretty big mess. I'll explain it in a sec. Um, to this Thunderous, uh, Agility, Nasty Plot, you know, Dual Dance with Thunderbolt, HP Ice. Dual Dance Thundee puts in a ton of work versus his team. I'm Electrium Z. Uh, with Electrium Z, I, I will be able to one-shot the Tapu Koko, especially if I have an Agility up. Uh, these more defensive stats, like 248 HP, 76 Spadef. That allows me to set up much easier on the top of Coco, the Torrenty, even the Volcarona. I can take a hit from, take a hit from. I can set up, I can take a hit from Seismitoad, even if it's offense if it's offensive. I can take a hit from Starmie. Just these defensive EVs allow me to set up much easier, and I don't need much speed because he doesn't have a lot around the 100 speed tier. Only Zygarde, which is generally adamant rather than Jolly, so I don't need to speed creep it by a lot. Um. And even so, uh, I can take even a band. I believe I take abandoned arrows from 
uh, Jolly <coughs> from Jolly Zygarde and kill it with HP Ice, or at least do a lot of damage to it with HP Ice. So that even though the EVs are weird, they allow me to set up very well versus most of his team. And he doesn't have a lot of priority aside from the Zygarde to be able to uh, kill the spawn after I set up an agility. So that's really nice. And the last mon is another win con this game. This is like this revenge is the majority of his team. His only good switch in is Zygarde, which he'll want to keep around for the late game, so. Flare Blitzing that mod once puts it in range of Thunderous's HP Ice. <coughs> puts it in range of Metagross's Ice Punch. I believe it puts it in two shot range of Latios's Psy Shock. Puts it in range of Tangrowth's HP Ice. Sumeril's Plyroth, uh, etc. So, even though I don't two shot it with Flare Blitz, I do enough for the rest of my team to be able to deal with it well. And then you turn just because it's a good move on Scarf Darm, Fire Punch if I don't want to take Recoil, and Rock Slide to hit the to Oko the Mega Aerodactyl. So I'm sorry about the coughing. <coughs> Let me get something to drink real quick. All right, so let's get into this game. I'm gonna do a little bit of live editing. A little fancy, I haven't done this for an MPL Miners video yet. So, as you can see, he brought the Drapion, which I definitely wasn't expecting. I was a little bit scared when I saw that because it hard walls my Megalodios, even though he doesn't know it. Like, for all he knows, I could have Draco and just bop it. But, <coughs> even so, it's scary because I'm looking at my set in a team preview and I was like, shoot, all I have to hit it is HP Fire. But it doesn't put in that much work versus my actual win cons, which is nice. So, I decided to lead Metagross. The only reason for this is so I can get up my Stealth Rock. I need it for uh, the Torrenty and the Mega Arrow. After Mega Arrow takes Stealth Rock, I believe Flare Blitz uh, comes very close to killing it. I don't remember if it's a roll or not, but it's very close, so. I definitely want to get rocks up this game. Helps so much versus him. So I lead my Metagross as he leads his Torn. This is a perfect situation for me. <coughs> so sorry about that. Uh, because my Metagross is able to beat pretty much any Torn set. So I just go for my rocks turn one. Wanting to get him up. As he actually goes for the Taunt. Which is very annoying because. You know now it's, I'll have to wait a couple turns before I can get up my rocks. And I need those things up ASAP. So now I just go for the Ice Bunch. Wanting to get off damage on this Torn. Is what I do. As he goes for Knock Off. He knocks off my Akaberry, which is fine. Because he probably doesn't have Heat Wave on this Torn at this point. And he didn't bring the Volcarona, so... I don't really need the Akka. So I go for Ice Bunch. I do a good 50 to this, and that's fine with me. Here I actually go for another Ice Bunch. If he goes into Pharaoh... Like his, like his good ice punch, uh, punch switch-ins are Pharaoh and pretty much nothing else. I guess Drapion, but I Knock Off might not kill from this range if I'm defensive. He doesn't really know my spread yet. So, <coughs> he doesn't really want to go Drapion. He want to go Pharaoh and get up his own hazards. So, if I go for Ice Punch this turn on the turn Pharaoh comes in, I'll be able to get up my hazards the next turn, which is nice. Because the taunt will wear off. So he goes into Pharaoh as I ice punch again, and now the taunt wears off, and I'm able to get in my stealth rock, which is so nice for me. As he goes for the leech seed, which is great because now uh, I won't need to defog with Mega Latios, defog my own stealth rocks away, because uh, since he didn't set up his rocks there, we'll have equal hazards if he's if he sets up a hazard on my, the turn I switch to Mega Latios here. I can see he goes for spikes. Generally, stealth rocks better than spikes, so I'm not going to want to defog these away. So I just go straight for the HP fire, wanting to do a lot to this Pharaoh. From that damage, I see it is a physically defensive Ferrothorn. So I'll be able to easily take it out with another uh, HP fire the next turn. He goes for Thunder Wave. I don't really care since I'm a defensive Latios. So I'm not going to outspeed a lot of his team anyway. I'm not going to outspeed the Torn. I'm not going to outspeed the Arrow. I might not outspeed the Zygarde. So, that's fine. I'm going to go for another HP Fire this turn. 
I don't I don't think he wants to risk me going for a dragon move here and dealing a ton to the to one of the mons on his team. He may not have calced and uh, he may not have calced my set and seen that I was defensive. Might not have wanted to risk, but there was no real reason to keep this Pharaoh around anyway. At so low HP doesn't really counter anything anymore. <coughs> So we get rid of the Pharaoh really easily, really early, which is really nice for me because that helps Thunderous sweep, that hel that helps Metagross just not get walled as much. It helps Darm not take Iron Barb's damage, and it helps Tangrowth not get walled. And Azu doesn't want the Iron Barb's damage either, and doesn't want to get minus one attack from Superpower. The Pharaoh's gone, which is great for me. He goes Drapion. And this is a little scary because you know all I have to hit with this hit this is HP fire. <coughs> so I'm just gonna sack off my Metagross here. I don't have a great knockoff switch in. Uh, I don't want to go Azu because he could obviously just poison jet poison jab me the next turn. I'm gonna go Darm to revenge. Darm's just my best revenger on this. I don't believe it's in range of Thunderous is Thunderbolt. So I just go for Flare Blitz here. As I mentioned in the team builder. Flare Blitzing the Zygarde is nicer for the rest of my team just because it gets it in range of pretty much all the rest of my mons. So I just go straight for the Flare Blitz as I actually get lucky here and he stays right in and I get to kill the Drapion very early on in the match. Which is really nice for me because now uh, some pressure is taken off my Megalodios, some pressure is taken off my Azu, some pressure is taken off my Tangrowth. It's looking nice for me. So we get a 5-4 lead right at the start, which is really nice for me. This arrow is barely out of range of my Flare Blitz, uh, depending on his HP investment. So I have to switch out. I need to preserve this Darm for late game because it's really nice to have uh, to outspeed Torn if my Mons get weakened. So switch out to Latios. I basically needed the sack here to Aerial Ace because Aerial Ace into Crunch kills Latios. Aerial Ace killed Darm. Aerial Ace into Stone, Age, Stone Edge killed Thunderous, two Aerial Aces kills Tangrowth, and uh, uh, Aerial Ace into Stone Edge, I believe, kills uh, Azu. So, I guess I could have gone Azu and threatened about with Aqua Jet, but I believe that's just a less strong play than going Latios, sacking it off, and then going Azu to threaten Belly Drum as well. So, he did bring the Seismitoad. Which makes me not want to go for Belly Drum here because it might just be a wasted turn of setup and a wasted uh, 50 HP, 50% HP. So I just go for the Play Rough here. It nets me a kill no matter what because, you know, uh, it's Adamant Play Rough and all of his mons are going to drop. Assuming it's Offensive Seismitoad to counter my Belly Drum Azu. Just to pressure my team in general, pressure Tang Growth, pressure Darm a little bit. So he goes for Aerial Ace, I eat my Citrus Berry, I hit my Play Rough, and down goes the arrow, which is great for my Thunderous. He doesn't have much to threaten my Thunderous anymore, so that's really nice for me. So now he goes into Seismitoad. Um, I don't really have a good switch into the Sludge Wave. Thunderous can take it, but I don't have a Grass move to hit this Seismitoad, I only have HP Ice, so... I need to sack the Sludge Wave if he's offensive. If he's not offensive, if he's more defensive, I actually take the Sludge Wave. But I just go for another play rough here, wanting to do a ton to the Seismitoad if it's not. I believe I take any non-Life Orb Sludge Wave. But as it turns out, he actually is Life Orb. As he goes for Sludge Wave, he takes out my Azu. Now here, I make a little bit of a play. Um, I know Tangrowth can take the sludge, wa sludge Wave easily, and I can kill him with a Giga Drain. But that leaves me in a weak position if he goes into Torrent, because Torrent takes any hit from Tangrowth. So, I needed to do something a little bit stronger than that to uh, threaten this Seismitoad, because I need the Seismitoad gone for my Darm to sweep late game. I need the Seismitoad gone, and I need this Zygarde gone. So, what I need to do is go into Thundee and uh, threaten Grass Knot. So if I threaten Grass Knot here by going Thundee, like I clicked thund the thund bu Thunderous button really fast here. So what's going through his mind here is he had, oh shoot, he has Grass Knot. I need to switch out. I need this thing for Darm late game and to do a lot to do like 40, 50% to Tangrowth with Sludge Wave. So 
He's going to want to switch out here, Fear and Grass Knot, because obviously Grass Knot is going to Oko the Seismitoad. So, as I said, my only move to hit this thing is HP Ice. My only coverage is HP Ice and Thunderbolt. So, I just go for the HP Ice. I wanted to weaken this thing, even if he stayed in and went for a Surf, I believe I took it. So, either getting two HP Ices off and then killing it with Darm was my play. And, and then maybe a series of 50-50s with Tangrowth and Zygarde trying to play around with that. But going into Thunder and going for HP Ice in my play because not not only does he fear Grass Knot and want to switch out into something that can take it, um, not only does he do that, but also uh, it's my best play even if he doesn't switch out. So it's just my best play all around. So I go for HP Ice here. If he's fearing Grass Knot, he's going to go into Zygarde rather than uh, Torn because Torn doesn't threaten the Stundy pretty much no matter what because none of his moves can deal. A lot to me at all because I'm a more spadef set. As you saw, my EV spread is a little weird, but I can take any hit from Torn really well. So he's gonna want to go into Di Zygarde. So I go for the HP Ice here. I catch his Zygarde on the switch in. He has a Yachi Berry, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna be able to two hit KO him anyway. So he goes for the E speed, it doesn't do a lot, and I go for another HP Ice, take him out. So now Zygarde, uh, so now that Zygarde is gone, all I need to do is weaken this Seismitoad a little bit and Darm can sweep. So he goes into Seismitoad. Um, I want to preserve this thing for... Just to preserve the differential a little bit. I wanted to, you know, maybe switch in tank growth and switch out. Weaken this thing to life orb a little bit. I'll make it a little bit easier for tank growth. So I go for Hidden Power as he goes for Rain Dance. Um, now I know, uh, Tangrowth, because I want to stay in to take advantage of Rain Dance, and I want to switch out to, I want to switch in and out, basically, to stall out Rain Turns, because Rain is going to weaken Darantan's Flare Blitz to the point where Torn can take it, so I'll need to go for Rock Slide to sweep, but Rock Slide obviously doesn't do a lot to the Seismitoad, so... I need to switch in and out of Tangrowth and Thunderous basically, because Thunderous can take a Sludge Wave, but not a, but not a Hydro Pump or Surf. Or, I, I don't believe Sandito gets Hydro Pump. I think no, it gets Hydro Pump. So he goes for Hydro Pump as this, as I switch into Tangrowth. He actually crits me, which sucks because I'm in Sludge Wave range now. So I need to switch back out into Thunny on the Sludge Wave, and then. I sack off Thunderous here because I need one more turn of Rain to be gone for Darmanitan to revenge, and I'd rather have I'd rather have a more healthy Tangrowth than a less healthy Tangrowth and a not very healthy Thunderous too. <coughs> because if he's able to set up the Rain somehow again, then he could just sweep me. So go to Tangrowth. I take the Sludge Wave easily. I actually go for the knockoff here over the Giga Drain because obviously I'm in range of whatever Torn wants to do anyway. And if he wanted to somehow, if he went into Torn for some reason and he was Scarfed, to has to be my Scarf. Well, there's no reason he'd be Scarfed because I saw him uh, switch up moves at the start. But I just spam knockoff here anyway, just in, just in case he's some weird item that allows him to beat my Darm. He actually is gonna miss two Hurricanes in a row here. Which is unfortunate for him because it it uh, it means that it won't be a 1-0 loss for him. It'll be a 2-0, but it just means one less differential. So good game to Mio. Very close game. I had to make some you know big boy plays at the end there, but came through. Darmanitan definitely the MVP of this match, being able to clean up most of his team after it was weakened, even though it didn't really do a lot on the battlefield, it had enough presence in the back to really change the way Mio had to play that match. And the way I played the match <coughs> made it a lot easier for me. Alright, so that was week one of Myers. Uh, week two we play against Septile MC, the two-time GBA champ, so we definitely have our work cut out for us. We're working towards that promotion, we're already step one of the way there, picking up a 2-0 victory week one. Hopefully we can clinch the uh, top seed in our conference to get that easy promotion so let's see how we do and I will see you guys in week two thanks for watching